Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today. So today's video is going to be some ideas on what to get for, get for Christmas. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I did a video last week about awesome gift giving ideas and those gifts you have to shop for online. So what I wanted to do was to come to you this week and just to give you some ideas on what you can get from your local stores in your neighborhood, your CVS, your Walgreens, your Rite Aid. The first thing I want to share with you is cards. What I like to do every holiday season or every other holiday season is to buy a new fresh box of assorted cards. Now in this box, this box came with 36 assorted glitter holiday cards with envelopes and the envelopes are red and white and some were green. So the cards look like this in the box and you get an assortment of cards. For example, there's a card like this, this one like this, and then there are several others. Let me show you here on the box. This is the assortment that you get or a couple of the assortments that you get. This is really nice. I've had this box for a couple of years. So this is my third year using this. There's still plenty of cards in here. When I originally bought this, I paid a $7.99. Uh, I'm sorry, it wasn't $7.99. It, it says here on the box, the, this box of 36 assorted cards were uh, $16. There was 50% off. It said you pay $7.99. But actually, when I bought this three years ago, I only paid $5. Uh, the cards weren't like bended, bent or broken. They weren't. They were really beautiful cards, and I've been handing them out for the last two years. And I'm going to continue handing them out until this box is gone. So one of my subscribers, guys, left me a question, a suggestion, really, about what kind of secret Santa gift to give. And I did leave her a response, and um, that was on my last video. You can check that out if you like. I told her this is something that I have done, my husband does. We have been doing this now for years. We absolutely feel comfortable doing this. It makes us feel like we're giving gifts that people really like, and it's usually just a basic, something basic that we do. I'm going to share that with you right now. Gift cards. Guys, do not underestimate the power of a gift card. You can get a gift card from any store that you know the person likes shopping in. Now, I don't suggest you run around to different gifts, different stores buying particular gift cards. What I would suggest is if you're doing a Secret Santa, say for example, and the limit is $25, get a $25 gift card. So let's say for example, you get your $25 gift card and you get your your Christmas card that you your assortment of Christmas cards that you've got fill out the card put a nice Christmas message in put your card inside your envelope and put the gift card inside with it that's a fabulous gift if you wanted to punch up this idea of one little notch you can do this right now in all the stores they have discounted gift bags Get yourself a gift bag, okay? So if you're giving a gift for Secret Santa, this is what I have done in the past. I have given a $25 gift card or maybe a $20 gift card, especially if $20 is the limit. I, I use my Christmas card. I put that in my 99 cent bag and I pick up a small box of chocolates. This one happens to be Ferrero collection. This is the Ferrero Rocher collection. Um, just make sure that the person you're giving sweets to or candy to or food to isn't allergic to nuts or, or eggs or anything. I will take this and put it inside my gift bag with my gift card and my Christmas card. And guys, if you wanted to, you can go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, like I said, and you can pick up um, gift bag stuffings like this. It's already shredded. You can get a, a big bag of this stuff for like a couple of dollars right about now. They have more festive uh, Christmas like colors and put it in here and make the bag look really festive. If you didn't want to use this, you can always use some festive <laughs> a gift wrapping paper and a tissue paper and just put it inside your bag. Let me take that off because we're not going to use that. And your bag is beautiful and you can take it. You can be very proud of your Secret Santa gift. Another gift idea I have in mind for you is if you're shopping for someone and you and it's a woman or a young girl and you know she likes little fancy things, this particular headband that I have, this is one that I recently bought. So what I what I want to show you guys is I have three. This one is one I just recently bought. If you wanted to give these for gift giving, um, these are really inexpensive guys. This was $4.99. So you can buy you can buy a couple of them so you can buy let's say three for fifteen dollars if you, 
if you wanted to do that. And so what I suggest you do, this is a, another idea if you wanted, if you wanted to shop for these little winter bands, especially if you're shopping for someone who lives where it's cold this time of year. If the person lives in a warmer climate, you can always um, opt out for something soft and silky like a scarf to, to use, so a beautiful scarf. This is a scarf that has a lot of gold uh, running through it. It's really, really pretty. It's soft color. So we're getting back to the winter season. It's Christmas time in New York. You know, it's always cold in New York City, New Jersey, um, Boston, and, and all the way upstate. Um, what I like to do is, guys, I would take it out of this plastic baggie, take them out, and this is what I would do. This is, um, this is a great gift idea. If you wanted to get, you can get two or you can get three. So let's say, for example, I have two right here. Um, what I would do is I would roll this down nice and neatly. Right, make it into a nice little roll, just like that, and then, and then take some contrasting ribbon. Again, you can get everything from Hobby Lobby or you can get it from Michaels. And what you want to do is you want to wrap it around and just make a nice little Christmas bow. Um, I'm not going to make a bow for you, but that's what you want to do. You want to make a nice little bow, and then take that and put it inside your gift bag if you wanted to. Now right now these two gifts are running at $10 for the headbands and $1 for the bag. That's $11. If you wanted to also, and you can again, can again, take a Christmas card from your assorted box of 36 or whatever you can get, put it in there, fill out your card, put it in your envelope, and you have again. Don't forget just to top your bag with some nice little dressing just to kind of hide the gift a little bit. If you didn't want to use this shredded paper, that's really cute. I really like that idea. Again, you can always use tissue paper. Just put the tissue paper on top of your gift. Fill out that little card that comes on your bag and you are ready for Christmas. Great gift. And uh, this is this is under what? This is under $20 definitely. If you're getting a gift for someone, if they're a dog or a cat lover, don't forget to shop for holiday gift bags that have pets on them. Now, I remember doing this for a friend of mine who had a dog, and what I did was during the Christmas season, I got a gift card from Petco. So I got the gift card, and then I picked up a little, like a little dog bone, and I put the, the, the card inside the bag with a Christmas card from me, using one of my uh, beautiful cards. I put all that in the bag and I put the gift card in the bag. So that's a suggestion guys you can do. If you know the person is a pet lover, you don't necessarily have to get the gift for the person. Get the gift for their pet. They would absolutely love it. Okay guys, I have one more gift idea I want to share with you. This is a pen set that you can get from Pier 1, but right now they're selling this particular set at Walgreens. And this complete set was $10 and if you wanted to give something like this to a secretary or someone who works in the office or someone who you know loves fancy items, this kind of pen set is really great. Um, there are three pens inside. This definitely is a gift box. As you can see, it's already wrapped up as a bow. And if you flip it over, there's a, a, a to and a from that you can fill in. And you may want to just pop off the price because it does say at $10. But this is what I did a couple of years ago. I bought something similar to this and I took all three of the pens out and I gave them as gifts to the secretaries that worked at my um, at my job. Okay guys, so once I picked up this, this is what I did. I took them all out of the box because I wanted to use each one separately. So this is one that I had last year and just to give you a close up I look at it, this is a pen that has been set with a lot of stones and seed beads and just a lot of little decorative beading on it. Uh, it's handmade, it's really pretty, it's just a pretty gift just to give to a secretary. But this is how it works, you just unscrew it from the cap and then you can write with it. I really don't think that you can replace the inkwell in these pens but it just still makes a great gift. Um, so what I did was I took my Christmas card from my assorted gift box of cards that I had for the last couple of years, I took the card, I filled each card out to personalize it for each secretary. I took the card, I put it inside the envelope. I dressed the envelope at the top here and then what I did was I took the pen and I used some double sided stick tape, sticky tape and I stuck the, the pen to the card just like that. 
it, it looked like a beautiful gift. So it had the card, the pen, and the person's name here that I'm giving the gift to and they, their personalized Christmas message on their card and that was the gift that I handed out uh, a couple of years ago. So that's what I did guys. I really like taking a gift box that has multiple gifts in it, taking it, breaking it down and then turning it into a uh, gift for more than one person. So essentially when I bought this uh, a couple of years ago, it was $10 then, it's $10 again. I spent $10 for uh, $10 on three gifts. How about that? So you can't go wrong with that, right? So you just have to be creative and you just have to make sure that you pick up the items that you know you're going to use the most, like your Christmas cards. Your Christmas cards, I kind of feel, is the staple. So once you get a assorted um, box of cards, you know that everything else will fall into place. Get your gift bags, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Michael's, go to... Um, Bright Aid, go to all the big drugstore chains, go to Target, go to Marshalls, and I mean you can find great gifts. You can find multiple gifts that are packaged just right so that you can take it apart and put them inside gift bags. Fill out your cards and I'm telling you, you're going to feel really great. If you want to use nice little um, toppings on top of your bag, you can go to Michael's and other craft stores to pick up tissue paper, gift wrapping paper if you like, and just make the Christmas gift very special. The person will love it and you will feel glad that you didn't spend a lot of money um, coming up with some big expensive item. No, you don't have to do that for Christmas. Christmas is about giving from your heart and you don't have to spend a lot, guys. Yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, guys, I will be back in a couple of days with the uh, what, one more idea that I'd like to share with you. I know that um, you guys are interested in um, just making Christmas very special, make Christmas giving very special. So I'm going to come back again in a couple of days with some more ideas that I know you will love using. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be very happy to read them. If you have any requests or any suggestions, about Christmas that you think that I would like or I would like to share um, on in my next video, please leave all the comments below. Um, please thumbs up this video if you like this um, video, if you like the content, if you like um, gift giving ideas, thumbs up this video. I really would appreciate it guys. Uh, thank you so much. Take care and I will see you at the next video. Bye bye.